Welcome to All Life Mouse TV. My name is Jake's Anemo. And in today we have a very fine problem. A very fine problem. Simple as ABC. Okay? So let's rack our head on how to solve this challenge. But before we go to today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe. Turn on the bell notification button. What that does is that YouTube uses this algorithm to notify you whenever we drop a, a wonderful video, an awesome video like the one you are about to watch right now. Sit back, relax, and let's dive down. So, thanks. The question says, if e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x all over 2 equal to 1. What then will be the value of x? Let's take our solution. So here we have here, solution. Hmm. Solution? Don't mind this pen. It's dried up. Okay, but let's manage it. So we put down our question which says e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x all over 2 equal to 1. This is very simple. The number one thing we'll do here is to eliminate these two by cross multiplying or multiply true by 2. So if we do that, this will now give us e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x equal to 2. Because of this negative power here, we have to eliminate this. So for us to eliminate this, because this expression here could also be written as e to the power of x minus 1 all over e to the power of x equal to 2. From the law of indices, it says that if you have a, a to the power of minus x, this is same thing as 1 all over a to the power of x. Okay? So the introduction of 1 and a division sign we take care of the negative power. Okay? So that is what we applied here. Okay, so from here, mind you, when we have a denominator in the first stage, we multiply all true. So here, let's multiply all true by e to the power of s to eliminate this denominator. So from here, say multiply, multiply all true, all true by e to the power of x. Okay. So if we do that, this will give us e to the power of x dot e to the power of x minus 1 all over e to the power of x dot e to the power of x equal to 2 dot e to the power of x. And what happens here? This we eliminate this. Okay. So from here, we're going to have e to the power of 2x minus 1 equal to 2e to the power of x. So if we collect our light terms, this will give us, so let's proceed from here. Okay. So let's proceed from here. If we collect light terms, this will now imply e to the power of 2x okay this crosses to this side plus to minus 2e to the power of x minus 1 or equal to 0 okay very easy now now remember remember that this guy can also be written as e to the power of x close bracket to the power of 2 minus 2e to the power of x minus 1 equal to 0. So from here, what if I decide to say let y equal to e to the power of x. So wherever I see y, I put in the value e to the power of s. Or wherever I see e to the power of x, I put in the value y. So this now implies y squared minus 2y minus 1 equal to 0. 
Automatically, this is a quadratic equation again. Now, we have to solve this quadratically. Because of the nature of this constant, we cannot use the factorization method. So, we use the formula method. So, and the formula method says that your y is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Let's go to our question. What is the value of a, b, and c? From the question, our a, a is equal to positive 1, b is equal to minus 2, and c is equal to minus 1. So let's go ahead and put these values into this expression. But before then, as a reminder, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you can get notified whenever we drop wonderful videos like the one you're watching right now. So let's go on. If we impute this into our formula, dx will now become minus bracket minus 2 close bracket plus minus the square root of, yeah, we have minus 2 r squared minus 4 bracket 1 bracket minus 1 close bracket. Cover up everything all over 2 bracket 1. Wow. So let's go ahead and simplify this. Minus times minus will give us plus. So here we are left with plus 2 minus 2. Sorry, plus uh, 2 plus minus the square root of this will give us 4. Minus times minus will give us plus 4 times 1 times 1 will give us 4. All right. All over 2. If we go ahead, this will now give us 2 plus minus root 8 all over 2. Okay. So from here, we proceed again. Whoa. According to sword, if you have root 8, this is the same thing as root 4 times 2, which is automatically root 4 times root 2. And root 4 is 2. So root 8 can probably be written as 2 root 2. So if we impute that into this system, this now implies 2 plus root, sorry, 2 plus minus 2, root 2, all over 2. We can factor out 2 here. So if we factor out 2, this will end up giving us 2 bracket 1 plus minus root 2, close bracket, all over 2. And so these two will go with these two. So when I end up having 1, plus minus root 2. Wow, this is the value of our y. Okay? So, therefore, our y will now be 1 plus root 2 or 1 minus root 2. Very easy. Okay? So, let's erase this and continue. So, if you now say recall, Recall that your y equal to e to the power of x. So wherever we see a, we put in this value. So the first value is this guy here. Okay? This be the first value. Let's take that. So this will now give us here e to the power of x equal to 1 plus root 2. Hmm. How do we now eliminate your e? Okay? So we introduce a natural law called the IN. Okay, we bring in the IN. So if we do that, this will now give us IN exponential. Sorry, E to the power of X equal to your IN bracket 1 plus root 2. Close bracket. Okay, so from here, Dix, we take care of Dix. So we are now left with X. Equal to in 
bracket 1 plus root 2. Now, from our root here, from the value of our y, what if s, if x is greater than 0, then the second solution will not exist. Okay, so therefore, finally, our x is equal to I n bracket 1 plus root 2. This is the solution to that exponential equation. Okay, so this is the value of Rs. If you learn something from this video, give it a thumbs up. Or you can say, thanks, Jay, for the wonderful work you're doing. You have a better way, a short form of solving this also, drop it in the comment section so that I can equally learn from you too. Nobody is an island of what knowledge. I learn from you, you learn from me. We strike a win-win situation. Thanks for your time. Jake loves you. Online Mass TV loves you. See some other time. Bye for now.